Hi, I'm Dr Nick and today I'm going to teach you how to make a Google Sheet that will help you practice doing um, Cartesian coordinates. Um, you can just practice them but it's more fun making the spreadsheet as well. So here we go. To start with, I have one here to show you what it's going to look like at the end. You can see we have this graph here that goes from 0 to 10 and 0 to 10 and we have um, a rectangle and we change the values of these different um, points. So say we wanted to make it longer, we could make that, instead of that being 5, 1, see it's 5, 1, we could make it 8, 1, which has moved that one. So now we want, if we're going to make another rectangle, actually we could yeah, make another rectangle, we need to move this one here along, so we go, that one can go to 8, Eight. Now if we wanted to do a, a square or a rectangle inside there, say we wanted to go from 2, 2, so 2, 2, but we don't want to have that bit joined up. So what we do is we leave a blank here, we, we have to put a 0 there and have a blank here, and we put our 2 here and then we can go from there so we might want to go to 4 2 and then up to 4 5 and then a lot oh, we'll just do a little triangle coming back to the where we started from which was 2 2 And there we are, we have our triangle inside a rectangle. And here are some other drawings I've done. There's one of a sailboat. Some sun rays, you can see they go 0, 10, 1, 0, 0, 10, 2, 0, and so on. Fairly standard sort of thing to draw, a little house. And this is the example I showed you before. And now we're going to make one of these ourselves. So we start off with, we'll label it Cartesian Drawings. And we'll put an X here and a Y here. And next we want to fill this with zeros. So we'll just put a zero there. It's just going to make it easier when we're making the graph if we actually have some numbers in there. And in fact, what we might do is put 1, 1, 1, 5, 2, 3, and back to 1, 1. And the reason I've done that is because that way we can see whether our graph is working. And that's just a reasonable set of numbers to use. So it's a good idea to highlight these and make them the same, make them a certain colour. So we'll make them pale blue. And that means when we insert our when we highlight for our graph, we know what to highlight. So now we highlight those and we go insert chart. And it's done a rather odd thing here. Now what we want it to do is it's line chart and it is we want a line chart. Um, we want to use we don't want row one as headers and we do want column A as labels. Oh look at that it's beautiful so we've got our triangle already. Now all we need to do now is get rid of this um, legend here so clicking on it and then you can see the position we don't want right, we want none. It goes away. Um, we want to change our axes, so we'll go to horizontal axis. We'd like our minimum value to be 0 and our maximum value to be 10. And then we do the same thing for our vertical axis, or not. So we, you can see we've squashed our um, graph there. I don't, don't really want this heading here. So we'll just go chart title, we'll just call it drawing. Oops. Right. 
Now we still want to change that axis here, the vertical axis. So, so we can either click on it or we can choose vertical axis out of the list here. So vertical axis and our minimum value will be zero. You can have negative numbers if you want to, but for this particular exercise, we're just going to go from one to 10. Um, that's all we want there. Now, I like to have lines between these. You don't have to, but what we do is we... So when we want the dialog box to come back, we click on the graph and click on those three dots and then go Edit Chart. And I want to customize and I want to look at my grid lines. And so I want my minor grid lines. I want one between each of the major ones for the vertical axis. And I want to do the same thing for the horizontal axis. And you can see that it's not very square, is it? These are all little rectangles, so I'm going to reshape it because I'd rather that it was a bit squarer. It's beautiful. And that's pretty much what we needed to do. There's a few other things that we can do to pretty it up. So we can go to series and change the color so we could make it say purple. And we can make our line thicker, so four pixels. And if we want to, we can have something indicating all of our dots. And that's quite good, actually, because that way you can see what you're doing as you go. So at the moment, we've got a circle being the um, symbol. What well, we could have had triangle, square, diamond, whatever. Actually, we'll go for, no, we'll leave it as a circle. And we've got a 10 pixel size. So now, if I put a, I want to put a point out here, that would be 4, 6. So I go over here. 4, 6. Oh, I did turn it into a triangle. So there you go. And then maybe I go 6, 6. And you can see it's making a, a, a drawing there. Now, if you want something really challenging to do, you can try and get two colors on the graph. You do that by doing two graphs and superimposing one on the other. And another sort of more mathematical thing you can try and do is to see if you can do this. And this is a mirror image. So what I've got is I've got my one set of coordinates up here and, and down here. It's, there's some formulas here to make this mirror image. So if I change, say, this one here, which is 5, 3, no, 5, 4. I'll change that to 5, 8, and you'll see that that changes, and that does too. Or if we wanted to change the one that's um, 8, 1, and we make that 8, 4, you can see that that one jumps up, and so does that. So there's a little challenge for you. I hope you enjoy making your Cartesian drawings. And do subscribe so you can find out when we do some more cool things with Google Sheets.